Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here. We're back. Um, I'm bringing you guys two little lives tonight. Um, I have seven new teams to bring to you guys. So I'm going to fill up three and four, four and three, whatever um, feels right. Um, hopefully, it's a bit late, so I might only get one and I'll do another one tomorrow morning when I wake up. But regardless of that, we're getting content in finally. Um, we're still relatively high in the ladder. We didn't get any games yet. Unfortunately, we decayed a little bit, but we're 75 battles in. Our GXC is pushing 80 finally. Um, Basically, what happened over the last couple of days um, was I just had this paper come out of nowhere, and um, the teacher moved the due date up, which is stupid. We were supposed to have the whole weekend to do it, but instead it was due tonight at midnight. So um, I had to cram all of the last two days just to get the, the big like, two papers in for my poetry class and just finish that off. That coupled with yesterday, I um, got really unfortunate in deep pick up and then really unfortunate in the deciding finals tiebreaker game for the semifinals of CPL. And... I really feel like I was a better player in both series, especially the DP Cup series. I probably should have been 1-1 in the um, CPL series, but I digress. Um, I would have won the other day for my team had I not gone unlucky. It's just like this string of bad luck that's kind of just been like, you know, I have this extra hour in a day. I could use it on productive school stuff or Pokemon stuff. And instead of putting up school stuff, I've decided to do the school stuff just because yesterday I was frustrated. And today I had to finish the paper. And then I got really unlucky in round one of Smog Tour. I missed a couple of Hurricanes and one game otherwise. Um, and to top that off, I also got um, some good games in, actually, for Black and White Seasonal against Fixed Street and Ryza. And I was able to advance to the I, – I won the winner's bracket now, so I'm waiting for the loser's bracket to finish. And on top of that, I also won a couple um, DP series for other tournaments. And um, I advanced in just some other small tours. Yeah, nothing big. But um, it's cool. I'm still involved with a lot, but I'm kind of annoyed that the only couple left in is Black White. But um, that's besides the point. Let's focus on um, – not spot gun stuff, but rather um, the whole YouTube spectrum. So there were seven Pokemon that were requested. Um, probably one or two more are missing, but for now, I didn't focus on these seven. I built the teams today. Um, the Wobblo wanted me to use Virzion. Master Hugo wanted me to use Salgor. Luis Booth wanted me to use Drampa. Society wanted me to use Spex Charizard on um, Sun. Charlie Regan initially wanted me to use Dracofish on Sand with Sandvale, but I told him I wasn't going to do that just because it's so luck reliant. I prefer trying to win with like outplaying the opponent. So I told him I'd use it on rain. He's like, hey, that's fine. Um, not really the same. I know, I know, I know. But it is a Helios team. Um, Helios, Dragonfish, Rain. Yeah. Um, so he wanted to. Um, Marty Mar66 got another um, suggestion of his was to use um, the Chandelure. So it's dope. And last but not least, Solo Yolo wanted me to use Mimikyu. So I made a Mimikyu web team, kind of similar to the old web team. Um, yeah, and I still love this Caprano Jack. Kaiser, your suggestion is OP as shit, buddy. Um, that was that was OP. That was great. Yeah. Now, so we're gonna get games. I kind of put them in order of least effective to most effective. Rizion is gonna be awful in that game because Age of Slash and Dragapult just hard wall. It can't break through things even with plus two life four absorb stance. Um, just goes with your team. Basically, the idea of the team is to trick things like um, Corviknight and also potentially like lure Dragapult into damage with Scarf Iron Head with this Drachi. and then also Combine Flamethrower Clap to lure and Age of Slash. And we can things like Corviknight for this Virzion, potentially have a chance to break through. It also needs Stone Edge just to damage things like Dragapult at all. So yeah, it, it's not great against Synthesis. So you gotta wish in the Drachi. Um, and then there's Toxpex there. Because physically defensive Toxpex hard walls Virzion. And also his Toxpex hard walls just clap. So we're running a, a block um, plus Spike set just to trap opposing Toxpex, which is really cool if we can't trick them, which I don't really want to trick them. And then Como O is a rocker. And Mandibuzz with Toxic as our defogger to hit other Mandibuzz, to hit Rotom Heat as well, since we don't have Toxic on Pex, and we're not, um, we don't really have any other way to revenge kill it. So yeah, um, that's dope. Um, it's the best setup I could get for Xeon. I actually took like 12 minutes and 15 minutes to figure out this too, which is a lot for just a ladder build, but I think it's okay. It definitely has some vulnerabilities I'm not huge on, like Jerem could be a pain. Um, opposing Dragon types could muscle through it's physically defensive class and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we'll manage, we'll manage for sure. Um, the Spex Aselgor team, um, it has Spex Aselgor. I figured Spike Slash because why not? And Sludge Bomb support for Clap. Um, so I'm like, you know what? This thing's not really great, but I, if I run like some special spam, it could be really cool. So what I did was I made it with Life Orb, Modest Hydreigon, just a nuke shit, plus Toxic Timid Roam Heat. So it's like this nasty plot core surrounding it, so they can kind of soften things for each other. There's a lot of direct synergy there, and then just pretty standard fillers, Wish Clap, of course. Storm is Pose for Rocks, and Drake Fish, and Rotom Heat, and Zero Aura. Um, Zero Aura actually is slower than um, slower than a Selgor, and I have sick illness, so I can like switch into knock and try and nuke it, which is one cool thing for Selgor. But it's still it's like walled by Aegislash, walled by Corviknight, 
Um, can't break Clef, even with a spec sludge bomb. Rotom Heat, it's going to need to two focus blast and get rolls, potentially. Can't even kill German, one focus blast. Um, Caldia walls it, Toxpex walls it, so pretty dire, but you could kind of take advantage of it with this team. There's a lot of synergy there, so it's cool. Um, and Trampa, I'll probably use these three this game. This time, then the next one next time, um, if I had to guess. Specs Trampa actually is kind of low key cool. This Hyper Voice is doing like 45, especially defensive clef. So if you get a Thunder Wave in the first time, that plus Modest Head Dragon, like they go ham, they really synergize super well. And then you just throw in standard fillers. Um, wish, double Wish is cool for healing up the Dragon types, and they just break through. So I really think this team actually has a lot of potential in the chance to like meta game. So I'm kind of hyped for the Dramp up. So I put that third because it's like the most effective of these three. And then Sun and Rain, they definitely have like bad matchups, but they're winnable. I'll get them next time. And Chandelure. Um, it is legit good, and Mimikyu, um, it's not a good Pokemon, it's actually really shit, but Webs can just tap the ladder. Um, these teams are probably equally good. These teams are kind of cheesy, but they can have high upside. And these three are like, suboptimal due to the Pokemon not being great, but this one in particular could really make some da noise with damage. This one has a lot of win conditions, and this one's just kind of balanced, and you hope that you only really need five Pokemon because Virizion's dog shit. Um, Alright, so let's start going with the Virizion. Um, we're at 1800, so we're going to be playing actually good players, which is unfortunate, but we might be able to manage it. Um, anyway, um... I'm trying to like ask questions for comments lately. Um, obviously, one thing to put in the comments would be if, um, as I'm facing rain here, would be hey, if you um, have like anything like you want me to use, like let me know. But on top of that, um, if you're just like have any like Pokemon stars that are funny, like competitively, Smogon stuff or ladder stuff, hey, put them in the comments. Let, let us know. Should other viewers would be interested? Um, if you have comments or suggestions for other videos besides that, let me know because I'm gonna hit the top ten eventually. Um, it's probably gonna take a little longer than it should. Bumpy Specs. Oh, I'm quicker and Moon Blasting. And he's used. Okay, that's a good start. Um, unfortunately, now he's going to go to the physical size, but don't nuke the fuck out of me. Um, I'm going to go pack predicting rocks. I didn't actually predict rocks, but that's fine. Um, we're just going to go Mandibus now on the Earthquake, and now we're going to just be uh, fuck here. We might tank. I don't think we tank. Oh, he goes Cloister. Okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to Toxic here. Don't, oh, didn't flinch. Wow, that's amazing. So you can go text here. Unfortunately, we're not Haze, though. But in rain, Skull actually does a fuck ton with after Shell Smash. This is actually a really okay start. Yeah, now we could, like, low-key just, like, nuke this shit. And he can't even do a kill. So, yes, now we just recover this all off. Don't flinch here. It's at 50. Dude, 50% from resisted Toxic Skull. That's hilarious. But, yeah, let me know your, like, Pokemon stories. Um, let me know your suggestions. For other Pokemon news in this series, let me know your suggestions for other videos. Um, yeah, no, you name it, for sure. Um, we're going to go back to stuff here. And now we're going to fire off another Moonblast. I don't mind him going Feral, because now I can just fire off a lot of Flamethrower and chip it. And, oh, that burn was actually really helpful. Um, we're going to come idea. Um, now we're going to self build up. Yep, and he can't really do shit. And... Um, we're just going to soft build here. Liquidation only does 57 in rain. So that's great. Earthquake won't. Yeah, no. Oh boy, that did a lot. Earthquake shouldn't do a KO. 46. Yeah, okay. So just don't crit us. And with crit chances being as low as they are, I kind of like this. I think he might actually fire up Pelper. Yeah, he's doing 45. So this is just a risky game of just will he crit? Oh! Not only does he crit, but he crits with a lot of health left. That's really unfortunate. Um, but it's okay. We're going to just go for a Leaf Blade here and hope to take it out. He goes Pelper. Actually, crit 52. We're going to go for an edge here and hope he stays in. Yes, yeah, so we'll take that out. It would have probably 2 k out anyway. But that worked well. He's going to go Mantine now. And we're kind of really weak to this. We're going to go... I'm hoping he's not going to sub here. Please let me get the trick off. Uh, he goes Seismitoad. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Como here. This looks pretty bleak, not going to lie. He's liquidating. That's fine. We're going to Rocks. Um, Rain is going to run out really soon, thankfully. As he goes man time. We just have to persevere through this here. So we can actually go Pex. Ah, uh, that's a Spex Hurricane. Not really what I wanted to see, guys. Uh, yeah, we're just going to trick here. And now we've got Spex. And we can Wish here. As he goes for Life Orb, Hurricane. And he can slowly start to kill himself. We're going to just go Pex here. Yeah, um, and what we can do is we could... Um, Spite down the Hurricane PP, and he misses again, which is great. He should be doing around half. Yeah. So it's like a roll in my favor, but now he's only, you know, he's got none left, so it's great. Um, Hydro Pump, yeah, that does nothing. We're actually going to block him here. That's fine. We get Scald. 
And he's not even water absorbed either. He's still swimming. He does gonna allow Helios to come in, which is good play by him. Um, unfortunately, it's quicker than everything now. We're gonna fodder off the Drachi. Um, just because I don't want to let this take a hyper voice. It's fine. And now body press is mad for Dal. This takes rocks plus body press. This is offensive. Yeah, he goes man time, but look how much damage that does. He's got no hurricane off, so he's gonna ice beam here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Pax. And now we're gonna block here. All right, he just let it die. Okay, that's chill. Um, Manda Plus is probably our next fodder. Um, because Fire Thorn's taken advantage of by both fighting types. And we're actually gonna be able to beat this guy who is 1767, which is really dope. Um, barring a lot of packs. This combo just picks kills like a pill up, pick pill up to kill, pretty much. Um, which is just phenomenal in this position. Instead, don't powerful oh thank god, neither of those happened. And yeah, we should just win with combo from this point. Um okay, that's a great start to the live. Um so yeah, we're gonna go um two or three games each team. Um we probably go three this live to the other one. I'm not sure though, because I talked for a lot of the start time. So I have to go two for this, honestly. Um let's see how it goes. We'll start off with two and maybe we'll get a third with one or two of them. I'm honestly just not really feeling this Virzion team, and that's no offense to you, the Wavlo, if you're watching this. Um, if you are, hey, man, leave a comment. You know, totally down to use them. I'll also, just suggest, but the thing with Virzion is in a metagame with Aegislash and Dragapult, um, it's already hard-pressed to break through, but then you couple that in with the fact that it's really pedestrian attacking stats. Um, for example, Calm Mindsets, maybe you could do a bit better, because that bolsters your special um, defense. We're facing another rain, Jesus. Um, which therefore allows you to live things like attacks with Dragapult. You could eventually want to be wanted, maybe, but the coverage on the special side is completely restricted already. And like then you can't break through Clef either. At least on the physical side, you can also break through Clef. But like on the physical side, you can't buff to special defense, which is actually naturally really high, but still. Um, this actually match port looks decent if you can break through the Whimsicott. I wish I was Toxic Specs in this game, though, and I'm not. Although I wouldn't be able to get the buff against Hat. Um, it looks like that Specs Popper. We lose to Specs Popper. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Problem. We're going to leave Manda Buzz. And we're just going to Toxic here and pray he stays. Because I'd love to get a Toxic on it in Yep. Toxic on that knock. And now he's probably going to go for um, a U-turn or a Wisp. So we're just going to go to the Fable here. Um, unfortunately, it's going to invite the Spike Pop in, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. Um, so if he goes Pop we're going to go Pex first. We might be able to live two water moves. We might not, though. If we don't, then we lose. And it's a spec surf for 38. Um, we're just going to recover here. I'm thinking he's going to go Hat, but he might go Kyrim. Kyrim's actually an issue as well. He goes Rotom mode, though. Um, we're going to go Coma. Don't Wisp. This would be a really lame time for you to Wisp, buddy. I could Toxic your ass. Great. Just delightful. Splendid. Okay, we are at least quicker, which is cool. Um, because they get chip every time if he goes for the vault, but um I don't think he's gonna give us rocks there. Damn it. I should have clicked rocks, that would have made amazing progress. But yeah, I was gonna say the main issue with um sixty fifty damn it. <sighs> um we're gonna go Pex and hope he doesn't freeze dry. If he does we do live, but yeah, yeah, he's beamed. Um, we're gonna scald here. It also covers him freezing, but if we burn the Rotom or the <gasps> wait, what? What? It's like modest ice. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> He's better kill. He better stay. Well, please stay in. It's so dumb. Like ice beam doing twenty six resisted. Like. Whimsy Cat, it does 44, he's offensive whims, we're gonna go Jirachi here, don't stun us for me. Of course she goes in Sonora, great. Okay, we gotta make this play here, we're gonna predict him to go for a knockoff. Yeah, you turn that's fine too, we just couldn't, he couldn't go for um, a Flare Blitz or a Wisp there. Yeah, and I figured he wouldn't because I've got burnt coma, oh, or poison coma in back, or burnt coma, or whatever. He's going to go hat. Um, yeah, we're going to soft up on this. I think he can probably to kill me, but not. Oh, great. You're going to crit. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Just what I needed. Um, all right, he's no fair resist. Okay. Um, what I can do is I can stall the LL turns, and then I could try and finesse this into a kill. 
I'm gonna attack drink. Oh fuck, does a metric fuck ton. Okay. Um one more blast here on the side shock. It does enough to took you out, and he's got no resist, so we're just gonna do it again. I'm hoping he's a slow palper, that would be really delightful. Um if not we could come in on Incineroar though still. Right, he gives us the hat, which means we can get rocks up, which is good. However, getting up rocks means Palper comes in. Uh, okay, moment of truth. Be slow. He's not going to be slow. He's definitely quicker. Yeah. No, okay. So we're just going to go Drachi, and we're actually going to click Trick, because I don't need to Scarf to outrun everything. And, um, that means I just... Okay. Um, we'll just U-turn here. That's fine. Don't confuse. Ah, that took sucky crit. Um, yeah, that's fine. No, we'll just go Toxic Cure as he goes Cure him. I feel obligated to Roost here. Um, you know, we're going to actually go Drachi and a Cure him. Yeah, and now we could um, wish to ourselves. Because if he stays in, that's fine. We, do, we don't live too. Fuck. Oh, no. Is this guy going to hit them both? Uh, we have to assume he's going to hit. We're going to go Mandibuzz. Yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, get any hits. Okay, so that works, I guess. We'll just roost here. Um, okay, he let it die. I, I don't understand, but he did make some progress with it, that's for sure. Oh, boy. This is issue. We do live. He's ice go plate for sure. But we only can get a toxic off. Um, not that the mana buzz was particularly useful here. No, do not. Why is he ancient? Hello? Whatever. We're going to go frizzy on here. Um, we're just going to close combat. We can't win. Yeah. We can't win. Because he's going to go whimsicott and it wins. Fuck. We're too. We, we, that's, that's why we needed the health. Damn. Shame he had every hurricane. If he just missed one of them. In business, but maybe it's a slow Whimsicott. Um, um, we're gonna go Como here, yeah. And now, we're just gonna Iron Head and pray. And he goes in center, okay. Um, we're just going to pray he's not flare blitzing for whatever reason, go Verizion, and then we can maybe flinch with the other two if he chokes. But I think he just flare blitzes here. He knocks us. Okay. Well, at plus one, we can actually beat the others, so maybe we just need, some, we need him to stay in. It's what? Okay. Now we need the Whimsicott to be slower than the Drachi and, or not kill it. If it just doesn't kill it, that's great too. Um... The thing is, if it's slower than Dredge, it's also slower than this, so we'll find out on this turn. He's quicker. Okay, so we need to pray that for some reason it doesn't kill the 16% Drachi. Please live, please live, please, please, please. It's going to kill. I'm like 85% certain it's going to kill. It's just offensive. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's a dumb game. Um, he got everything. But it's fine. Um, Verizion sucks, but he has a lot of points we just lost, so wrap it up. Um, we're getting Storm Zone now. Great. I don't really want to face this guy ever, but certainly not with meme teams. Um... A Selgor is useless. Oh my god. Weezing walls it. Cinderace kind of takes advantage of it. Age slash walls it. Can't want to kill Pharaoh or... <sighs> He's playing 5-6 against good players. That's what I hate about this, honestly. Like, I kind of just want to use Triarch chip, but I kind of locked into this. But I'll lead with it. I'll lead with Cinderace and... He's not going to Pyro, but he's going to U-turn. So we're going to go for a Specs Focus Blast. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Really? Okay, we're going to predict the Seismitoad and Toxic here. Um, we got that right, at least. That Iron Head, that was perfect. Yeah, we land the Toxic. Okay. You know, what we're going to do is we're going to... say if you're going to go for Rocks, then fine. But we're going to claim Spikes here. Yeah. I'm liking this. Because it's going to hit Weezing Galar... Aegis Slash with Bloom's Popped, and these two, these defensive course has the Ferris Box. That's cool. I think he's kind of inclined to stay in as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's fine. If you want to switch the sides, okay, because this, I don't get that, but I'm just going to go for a Scald here. Is the Weezing? Okay, but it's, oh, it's Levitate. Okay. We're just going to Scald you. Yeah, Strange Team, what the fuck are you doing? I'm going to knock your Predicting the Pharaoh. Okay. Sure. Um, I'll just rock, I guess. Not really sure what the game plan here is, Mr. S um, Stormzon. Um, I think you've utilized this Weezing Galar in a suboptimal fashion. However, um, I do respect your pocket monster's decision making, so perhaps I'm incorrect in this analysis. Um, we're going to Moonblast here. Yeah, okay, that was worth it. Um, that was definitely worth it. You go Cinderace, it's fine. We're just going to protect now. Um, hmm. Now we're going to go High Dragon. And we dodge that, which is dope. We could actually bluff Scarf here. And we're just going to Flamethrower. Yeah, okay, and he goes for U-Turn anyway. And that's fine, so he's going to hit anything besides the side stud. There's no way he goes, he goes Feral, and that takes that out. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and now we're going to go to the, um, Clef is fodder. Is he pyro balls? That's fine. So now we can go to the, um, Corviknight and Defog. Yes, because we do always live a pyro ball. Yeah, and on top of that, we also waste four pyro ball PP, which is huge because not only is one left, so what we can do is we can go to the Salgor and we could just, um, why did I go to Salgor again? That was stupid. I'm bug buzzing now. He U-turns and I did 42. Okay. I just wanted to break the balloon with Aegis Slash if I needed to, but yeah, it's fine. Um, so at this point we'll go to the, um, hmm. We'll go to the Rotom. He's going to Swords Dance. Just please don't miss. Please. Oh, please. He lives one. And that's fine, because this isn't... An, oh, it is. Oh, fuck. We lose. Oh, we have lost this game. Um, I found a workaround. We're going to go Seismitoid here in a close combat. Yeah. Oh, and he went to his own? And I'm fine with this, because we could trade rocks. And on top of that, I can go for an Earth Power here. And I'm quicker. And he's going to Toxic me. That's fine. We're going to knock off here so in case he goes and switches. And now he's into a Kyo knockoff range. So yeah, it, it works out really well. Um, he can go Cinderace. That's fine. Um, he's going to... Oh, he's going to miss. Oh, that was clutch as shit for us. And now we're going to go to um, Hydreigon first to force a sneak. Yeah. Or if we... Yeah, that's perfect. And now... Shadow Sneak. Now we can go to this. And Overheat always kills this. Um, I don't want to risk head smash, yeah. And then we just kill that. Okay, perfect. Good game. Um, sorry about that um, miss there. I think I still had it, though. So that's one game with the Assault Gore. At least we beat a good player with it. That's dope. Um, he's pretty high in the ladder, I think, too. I actually didn't check, but that puts us up to 18-13. And in ADGC, so that's cool. So we're 2-1. We're going to wait through. Yeah, we're going to go two games a turn for this one. And I actually might um use only th like two or three of the four teams in the next one. And then tomorrow we're going to do a whole fresh live. Um, hopefully with some suggestions overnight plus one of the leftover teams. Um, I'm hoping that we could get up to like 1860 or 1870 tonight, but I'm holding my breath. I don't know if we'll make any progress just because some of these Pokemon are kind of shit. And losing two games costs us 45 to 50 points potentially. Uh, we're against a Gran Robulo. Gran Robulo. Gran Robulo. Gran Robulo. Ho, ho, ho. My boy, Gran Robulo. I don't know why I'm saying his name repeatedly. It's a funny name. He's got a Silvali, which is dope. We're just going to lead with our boy Salgor and see what he can do. Hint, hint, hint. Not much. No, not much at all. So we're going to go Seismitoad on the Overheat. On the Thunderbolt. Okay, sure thing. Give me that um, Stealth Rock here. Discharge is so much better, by the way. You go Seismitoad. I am kind of paranoid of a uh, Rasp move. So I'm just going to go Hard Hydreigon. He rocks, and now he doesn't. This is surely Silvali Fairy. We're gonna nasty putt here either way. Okay, and we're modest, so we take this out. 
Just don't miss. Do not miss. I ask so nicely that this Draco Meteor connects against the opposing pocket monster, and indubitably it does. That is phenomenal. Um, it's a Salai Fairy with speed for me. I'm like 80% sure. I mean, how can you be... He goes Mew. We're going to just go hard to Selgore in this. I can't risk shit. Drain Punch. Well, if you say so, buddy. We're just going to go for a Specs Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz. Bug Buzz. Buzz Bug. Bug Bug. Bug Bug. Buzz. Okay. We're going to stop talking like that. He's going to go... He's going to predict his eyes, but though... So we're actually going to go for a bug buzz here. And if he overheats, that's fine. Yeah, he's going to stay in. And oh, he stayed in. Oh, my God. We got him. That's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. Um, um, he went Como. Oh, that's not. That's bad. Uh, we're going to Bug Buzz so he can't Belly Drum. Oh, he's Citrus Iron Defense? Don't think that's a set. Um, but I don't really have a safe play against it. Um, Rotom Heat's kind of useless. And now we could get um, 295, 295. Give me a power. Nice. No risk city. Barring the chance of me missing this and noticing that I didn't go to my ah, actually Clef is slower. Uh Clef lives any hit what what did I do? Why didn't I go Clef? Okay, well I connected. Thank god I didn't risk the Pokemon that just won on the spot. <laughs> um we're gonna go to the Corviknight here. I'm thinking he's like Dragon Dance. Or, oh, Swords. Oh, oh, oh. We're just gonna spam Brave Bird. He can't actually break us unless he's Flare Blitz. And with Drain Punch, Flare Blitz makes no sense. He has to have Psychic Fang too. Um, the Swords Dance again, it's 238, that's fine. And now Drain Punch isn't gonna be able to kill us even. Like, not even close. Like, it might do half. Yeah, that's 39. Um. I'm scared of Sucker Punch, guys. I really, really am. Um, I don't think I have another ply, so we're going to pry. It's not Sucker Punch. It probably is, though. Yeah, we've lost, I think. Barring it being a really slow Mew. Great. I wish I had something legitimate over... The Assault Gore, like a Wisp variant of Dragapult, but yeah, that is a wrap. We're going to go for the burn here, just in case. When it probably kills, honestly, yeah. We get the burn. Uh, we're still going to get two kills with Puff. We're going to go in case he like fucks around and goes for Drain Punch here. This does live rocks. Maybe there's an... Outside chance. No, he went for sword stance. We'll wish here, just in case. It doesn't... It's gonna... Oh, it's probably gonna kill, honestly. I mean... Yeah, that's game. Yeah, oh well. Um, so, in conclusion, I saw Gore's dog shit. Grandpa time. We're just trading games, I guess. Um, yeah, we're down to... Seven, we're, we're literally down to one point below where we started, and... About the same GXC. We're like 0.1 lower. So this has basically all been a waste because the Salgor and Verzion are just dog shit. But we've gotten through the two worst teams without losing points, which I consider a victory. Because I felt like the second leg of this two-part video would be good. And we're kind of approaching the second leg now. Oh, this is not a match, but I want to face though. Because Terrakia just plows this shit. Um, what we can do is lead Jirachi and just flinch everything. So, give me two flinches here. Hard bish. If you insist, I will roost here. Just for you. Sorry. Okay. Brave bird. 
gonna defog, gonna Jirachi, gonna U-turn. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. It's honestly a good question. Um, the thing is, I don't have the answer to that question, so good luck. You know, Drampa kind of does go in here. Flamethrower into that Aegis Slash. Wow, that is an impressive mid-ground, my friend. I have gained some respect for you. He's not going to be banded, though, so I'd live with Stone Edge for sure. And since it's Life Orb, I should let I trade with it. I'm going to protect here. Um, protect again. They trade. Okay, that's fine. At least I forced him to edge for the second time, so I get some odds, maybe. Um, but a dumb, but a dumb. We're gonna go to Sasquatch. He's not gonna go Tokyo. He's gonna go Tokyo. Unfortunate events for nine thousand blues. Uh, it's fine. We'll go high dragon. We're gonna live this attack now. It's gleam, really, really had to be gleam. Why are you nasty plot gleam? I don't know, but he is so. That's just splendid. We're still sort of okay, because now we could just knock it off. And actually, we lose as fuck. Yeah, oh, we've lost this game. Give me a burn. Don't flinch. Come on, are you serious? That's fucking dumb. Um, yeah, that's really fucking dumb. So we're going to pray he's not going to sneak for some reason. And we're going to trick. No, well, okay, he's locked. He can lock into something else now. Um, we can wish, maybe, now. But we can stall out these and then we just lose to Dracovish anyway. Yeah. Just again. Of course he crits. But now we've got to roost again because struggle. Yeah, okay, it's over. Uh, we could just... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fucking banded, Dracovish. And that is really stupid, guys. Bye. Um, love getting unlucky on the ladder. Because when have we ever won a game through luck? I don't think we've won one at this point. But we've gotten unlucky literally every live and every tournament I've been playing in. This has been, like, a really unlucky stretch. And I just hate it. Because, like, you know, like... Each game luck like resets. It's just like RNG, you know, like it happens. But like sometimes it just feels like, you know, that shit's out to get you, you feel? So um, we're going to get one more game for this live. I was actually really enthusiastic about Drampa, so getting that one game sucked. And now we're against fucking Umbreon, really? Are you kidding me? There's no normal resist, but like I, I guess I'll, I can't even rock. Oh, fuck it, we're just going to leave with it. Maybe it's physically defensive Umbreon. God damn it. Click your buttons, Mr. Scott and Roma. Not even 1700. This matchup sucks. God. I am tilted. T I L T E D. Tilted. Yes, I just won my own self um, self made spelling bee in the middle of this live. And no, I um, do not regret going for that cheesy setup. Um, come on. Grandpa talk specs. Okay. Um, this actually does a nice uh, 63, yeah. Um, I just wonder if it's going to do a go Umbreon if it's just the defensive. It's such a defensive, it's going to do like 39 to 45. Really toxic bunker on this? I guess you'd lose to Drake for sure, otherwise you have your own kind of so I don't like, yeah, I don't care with that. I think it should just be bunker, honestly. But we're getting damage off, which is cool. Um, if you just go Umbreon, he might be physically defensive and just fucked against us, so that's cool. Unfortunately, with Regenerator, I'm going to have taken more damage than him in this. Yeah, he goes on. 54? Oh, he's protecting it for sure, so we're going to go Hydreigon. Okay, protect. Yeah, and now we can Nasty Pluck here. Wait, yo, we're in business. No way the hat lives a plus two modest flash timer. 
So uh, we can just nasty plot again. Yawn. Are you fucking serious right now? No, we're gonna we're gonna say fuck it. Protect. Yeah, and now we're gonna take our sleep turn. We got a hat. That's fine. And we're gonna go Drachi. God, I, I I don't believe this. That's fine. Let's go Iron Head here. He's gonna probably stack. No, we're gonna trip. If he stays in and Mystical Fires, I'm gonna throw his hit. Like you're, you're you're just gonna see bad things happen. Really bad things. Okay, ghost packs. Let's chill. So now we can wish. Don't burn. Thank you. Uh, I can't believe he's yawn. Dragonfish, but we're quicker. So we're going to go for a hyper voice here because he's going to be slower. Yeah. Why are you trick room with Dragonfish, dude? Dragonfish is kind of fast. Not a lot. Oh, shit. Really? Really? I mean, okay, but like, really? Okay, we're gonna go for rocks here. I'm feeling it. He's not going to hat. He's not going to hat. No way he's going to hat. Yeah. Thought so. So, Drakefish can't really switch in. And we get a knockoff. Oh, that's dope. No, don't go Pex. He's not going Pex. There's no way he goes Pex. If he goes Pex, I'm going to throw his seat. Okay, thank God. With Sleep Claws, you can't actually do that. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna spam knock here. Um, just to try and knock something off, all else out, off. Yeah. Oh fuck my. Deep breaths. Deep, deep breaths. Very deep. Many breaths. This is physically defensive. So moon blast is half. Wish. With that drop, we can wish Tar. Def really? With. Uh, I hate this ladder so much. Yeah, fuck you. We're just gonna say Hyper Voice is gonna get a kill here. So something's dying next turn, unless this kills me in one with. Really? Knockoff? Are you fucking serious? How fucking deranged. You know what? Hyper Voice into. Draco should kill this. Don't go hat. Don't go hat. Don't go hat. Don't go hat. Please. Thank you. I am very frustrated. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. Are you serious? Oh, man. Final top point. No way he goes Dracovish. He goes random heat. Chance to wake up. Chance to nasty plot up. Yeah. He's plus speed with defog, really? Of course I get a long sleep, that's fine. We're just gonna go to Clef here. Can't do it. Wish here, I guess. It's not nasty plot on that at least. Like we're just gonna moon blast here. Get this over half, so now he's gonna force to protect, so we're gonna teleport. What? Bruh? Are you serious right now? God, I hate, hate, hate so many things right now. And this player happens to be one of those things. He's actually just top my list. Yeah, fuck you. That did 46. What? Why did that do 46? Whatever, we're just going to knock again. Okay, buddy. I just, sure, throw away the arena. I don't care. Yeah, bye. Bye forever. Okay, well, this has been a really anticlimactic and shitty live, but I hope you enjoyed because maybe I kind of did at points, but not really fully. So someone has to. <laughs>